What's up game viewers, Brian here at 3TR and welcome to another episode of People's Questions, episode officially 37. Now before I get into you guys' questions, and I got a rather short list this time around, I'd like to congratulate the winner of last Friday's contest question, 90s was the best, who managed to get all five questions as for what were my top five favorite movie based video games of all time. And if you're watching this, I did contact you earlier in the week and tell you that uh, I will be picking up your card because by the time that this video is up, I'm probably at work. So I've already picked it up and I'm probably going to send you the code to you directly when I get home at, from work. I'd say around 4.30 ish, hopefully. So do not worry. So congratulations to you. You're now a two time winner. If you get one more victory, you'll be put into the contest for a $50 card. So hopefully one of you guys will try to stop them, but there's several more two time winners out there. And since you also did win the contest question, I'm also going to go over your question, two questions first. So here we go. Your 90s What's the Best first question was, would I put Looper in one of my top movies of all time category? Um, no, I wouldn't. Uh, the reason being is in order to be put in that kind of standard, I believe that you really need to be in at least to me, the best in that genre. And since Looper is more of an action sci-fi movie, there's already one movie that's already better than that, and that's Terminator 2, because that's that does time travel, it's science fiction, has tons of action, it simply has more to it. Although Looper is a good movie, and it'll definitely be in my top 10's movies of 2012, it's just not good enough to get up there. Plus, it's also behind Back to the Future, but that's another story. So, no, Looper... Good movie, just not good enough to be one of the best. Uh, and your second question was, so far from what movies I have seen this year, what do I think deserves to be the best picture or movie of this year? Um, as a fanboy, I would happily, I would easily say The Dark Knight Rises, but I want to be tried and fair, and I want to see all the movies I want to see for 2012 first before I, and then sit down and then think about it. Uh, when I do my two th top 10 movies of 2012's list, I definitely want to be more fair and open up. I don't want to just say things because I was a fanboy of them. I want, if Batman, if Dark Knight Rises really was the best movie of the year, then it definitely deserves it. But I can't say that now because there's two more movies coming out, which may take that spot. Highly unlikely, but it's possible. But if, in short, uh don't know yet. I'll have to wait till the interview before I have a defining answer. And the last question of today comes from a good guy named Mike Stiles with a Z. And his question was, who is the most memorable bad guy I have ever faced in a video game? Um, I've taken on several bosses throughout several different franchises. Uh, I'm sure most people would expect something in like the Metal Gear series, but if you really think about the really Aren't, they aren't really villains, they're kind of just doing things from their perspective. So if there was a defining villain that I would say I had the most fun taking on, it would be Seymour from Final Fantasy X. I don't think I've taken on anyone as interesting or as many times. Because uh, if I remember correctly, you fight them four times, they all have epic scores to each battle, they're all done in really cool locations, except maybe the last one. I thought that one was a little weird and a little too easier. Uh, so Seymour by far, uh, even when I first met the guy in Final Fantasy X, my first playthrough, I knew I was going to fight this guy eventually, I just didn't know how many times, and he's just one of those guys that just keeps coming back no matter how many times he gets knocked down, and he comes back stronger, meaner, even more crazier than before. So the answer is Seymour. And with that, I would like to thank uh, Mike Styles and 90 Swiss the Best for sending me your guys' questions. Keep sending them in so that these videos will be longer and I can talk more. And remember, they don't even have to be on video games or movies. They can be on anything. You can even ask questions about me, personally. And this Friday's contest question is a little bit easier. I think this is going to be the last multi-answer question I do for a while because I think that I may get my third three-time winner this time, maybe, hopefully. And quite simply, the question for this Friday's contest question is, name my top three favorite multimedia villains. Now, what this means is just list off the top three in each genre, and those genres are video games, live action movies, and anime. Now, like before, I'm not gonna post any clues down below. If you've been paying attention to my channel since the beginning, then I think I've mentioned maybe a couple of these answers in other videos a little bit maybe, but it's up to you. 
And if you manage to get all the questions right, then you simply type them in down below. Do not send them to my personal PlayStation Network. And you'll have your choice of an Xbox or a PlayStation Network card, and I will send it to you as soon as I can. I will message you personally when you get it. And if you like this video, please like, comment down below, and subscribe to Top Keep Track of me in my future videos. Remember, guys, keep sending me your questions. Every single one of them helps me immensely. And like always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.